Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Beth Erickson, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is home to many amphibians. If you had to pick a favorite amphibian to represent the state, what would you choose? Wood frog? Spring peeper? Mud puppy? That one sounds messy. The idea to nominate the Eastern Hellbender as the state amphibian was championed by a group of students and supported by environmental organizations who wanted to increase awareness of the need to reduce pollution in the Hellbender's habitat, Pennsylvania's rivers and streams. The bill for the state amphibian was proposed but not passed by both houses prior to the end of the 2017-2018 legislative session. So it was reintroduced the next year, and on April 23, 2019, the Eastern Hellbender was selected, designated, and adopted as the official amphibian of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. As the largest aquatic salamander in the United States, hellbenders are members of the family commonly known as the giant salamanders, and their Latin name cryptobranchus is derived from the Greek word that means hidden gills, referring to the lack of large external gills in adults. Whether it's called a mud devil, ground puppy, or Allegheny alligator, this large amphibian requires a cool, clean, well-oxygenated habitat, free of pollution. Any changes in water quality can have a negative impact on hellbender populations. And since they may live up to 50 years, their presence is a great indicator of the long-term health of a river or stream. Typically nocturnal, hellbenders spend most of their day under rocks on the stream floor emerging at night to hunt crayfish and small fish. Hellbenders are generally found in areas with large, irregularly shaped rocks within swift, shallow water. Its relatively flat head and body allows it to hide under the rocks. But when threatened, hellbenders will excrete a mucousy, foul-tasting substance from their skin, deterring predators such as large fish, turtles, and water snakes. In the fall, a male hellbender will choose a nesting site and prepare the area by moving gravel to create a depression or burrow. A female will enter the nest and lay two long strings of 200 to 400 eggs. Males then chase away the females and remain in the nest until the eggs hatch in about two months. Larval hellbenders will leave the nest immediately after hatching to avoid consumption by the previously protective male. They are about an inch long and have external gills which will disappear in about two years as juveniles, when they start breathing primarily through their folded, wrinkly skin. Adult hellbenders measure about 30 inches long and weigh up to 4 pounds. Unfortunately, researchers have documented a decline in hellbender populations throughout their geographic range in the eastern United States due to a loss of clean water habitat, which is critical for their survival. Conservation efforts are in place to augment populations by releasing juvenile hellbenders raised in captivity from wild-caught eggs, and to place natural cover rocks and artificial habitat structures in streams where remnant populations have a good chance of recovery. Clean rivers and streams in Pennsylvania have benefits to hellbenders and to humans. So the next time that you are out in a stream in Penn's Woods, Know that our state amphibian, the eastern hellbender, may be under a rock below you. And if a hellbender is there, then that water is clean. I hope you enjoyed learning about the eastern hellbender and its selection as the official state amphibian of Pennsylvania. For more, visit our webpage.